Alright guys, what is up? It's your boy Jam, and I'm back again with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the new abilities of Ferrigiraf. So I said I was going to talk about this in my picnic video. I'm assuming that uploaded by now. If not, well, I'm making a picnic video. Um, but Ferrigiraf has two abilities, and one of them I think is huge. They're both actually really good and competitive. But um, first we have Armor Tail. It prevents other Pokemon from using priority moves against the target, and we have Kudchu. After using the berry, it will then use it again with the same effect at the end of the player's turn. Now that is interesting to me. Now I feel like Kudchu is kind of easy to get around. Um, you just don't attack them on if it uses like a citrus berry or whatever. But imagine if it uses like a berry that increases speed. Use protect, get double speed. That is crazy competitive. It depends on the berry you're using. With berries that raise a mon's like stat, that is huge in my opinion. And I think that both of these abilities are really good doubles abilities. And here's why, because Protect is obviously a really common move in um, doubles. But, um, you know, you set off like, um, oh gosh, there's a speed boost in Barry. I know that. That's a really popular one. And then you Protect and then you get a times two in that. That's really big. That's really big. And that's a lot of damage. And you get speed and it, it's just a really good ability. Like, there's so much cool ways to get around it in singles and doubles. Um, let's say you add some defense stats and, you know, you get a sword stance up. Let's say it has sword stance. I'm assuming it might with its physical. You know, they bring you down to a really low amount, but they don't kill. Um, with whatever attack they use, and then you get a berry, you protect, get the berry again. And if it's a speed boost berry, now you got times to attack, times to speed. You're killing. You're doing damage. So, but now into Armor Tail, which is also a really cool ability, prevents other Pokemon from using priority moves against the target. Now, this is an ability I really want to talk about because you guys know I love Prankster. So, I'm going to go into Showdown here. I just want to talk about one of the mons that has Prankster confirmed in the game, and that's Sableye. Sableye is an amazing support in singles and doubles. I use it all the time. And for one, it prevents Fake Out. Fake Out has priority. You can't use Fake Out. So Ferrigiraf cannot be faked out. Um, but let's talk about uh, some of the other popular moves it has that will get priority. It can not Pain Split. Um, we all know Pain Split can be a really annoying move. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people rep Sableye with it. Um, you know, anything, anything that you see that is special, it, it can't use. And I'm wondering where Will-O-Wisp is. Because Will-O-Wisp should not be down here. But Will-O-Wisp is a move... Yeah, here it is, Will-O-Wisp. Will-O-Wisp Sableye is a monster. Alright, I use Will-O-Wisp Sableye in Sword Shield when I'm facing Zashi and Zama, Zentos, Rayquaza. I get the Will-O-Wisp off. Most of the time it hits. It's a few times it doesn't, but Sableye usually has the bulk to live at least one attack. You get the Will-O-Wisp. That mon is almost unusable. And it is amazing. Sableye is confirmed in the game, so I think it's really big. Um, You can always trick as well. So when you come across a Sableye, which I think with the, um, you know, the limited decks, certain Prankster Mons are going to grow. And if there's not a lot of Prankster Mons, I see Sableye coming back just like it did in Gen 6. It was a Mon in Gen 6. It's used by a lot of people in your Gen 3 playthroughs, and it's strong. And for Ridgeraf counters it. Look at it, it's a Dark Ghost type too. For Ridgeraf can counter this thing. Make it almost useless. And I think that's just freaking incredible in my opinion. You know, you can't recover with this thing. Prankster Mons are almost ruined. I want to talk about Whimsicott too, because if we're going to talk about doubles, we've got to talk about Whimsicott. Now, I can't confirm Whimsicott's going to be in the game. Cannot confirm it or not, but what I can say is that Whimsicott is a force to be reckoned with in VGC. It has so many good moves it keeps, and even in singles. It's got stuff like Leech Seed. It's got Encore. You know, you can always set up... I remember in Gen 6, um, Cotton Guard was a really popular ability. You know, you can't substitute, you can't stun spore. Whimsicott is deemed useless. You cannot Tailwind, you can't Taunt. None of these priority moves are in motion once Whimsic or once for Ridgeraf is out on the field. And if we're going to talk about Prankster, we can also talk about priority moves. Because um, Scizor and... Lucario are both in the game, both getting multiple, um, not multiple, but both do get priority moves, both with Bullet Punch, for example, and we know Bullet Punch is a super popular mod on Scizor. Scizor can no longer Bullet Punch. Um, 
There's, um, I don't know if it goes with ability priority moves like Talonflame, but let's say it does. Let's say it, it um, negates Gale Wings. Then that means if a Talonflame's at full health, it cannot use Fire Flying type attacks. It, it's just a crazy ability. It's actually insane. And it kind of, it sucks to me because I don't want my Sableye to be nerfed, but it's looking like that's probably going to be what happens. But, um, Sableye can counter it, um, having a dark type move so there is kind of ways around it but you know i guess you just kind of have to play your cards right but yeah there's just a lot of priority that gets um ruined in the game and you know it's just kind of nuts to see that um we have this ability that negates priority and i, I believe we have other abilities like that like prankster has been nerfed um, Prankster has gotten nerfed over the years for when it can't be used on dark types, and now we have this ability that completely negates priority. So it's actually kind of nuts, too. And think about all the other priority moves that can't be used. I, Breloom, I'm pretty sure, is in the game. Mock Punch. Breloom can't Mock Punch. Um, and priority is just one of those game savers. It's like, it's one of those things on the side that you kind of have that you want to keep in case you absolutely need it. It's like, um, Rapid Spin or Haze. You know, get rid of, um... Hazards, stuff like that. So, you know, it's priority is really big in a game and can save you. And to have the ability to completely negate one's priority is really huge. So, yeah, overall, I think these abilities are really huge. And even um, Kudchu, I kind of talked about that. If you use it along with Protect, it's it's kind of really good. Um, and it says at the end of the player's turn, I don't know if that means the next turn, but if not, if you use a Citrus Berry, um, you use it again on the same turn, which would be kind of cool. Get full health back if you're low, but... Yeah, so that's going to be all for this video, guys. I kind of talked about what I want to talk about. Let me know your thoughts on this ability. I, I can't wait to use it in competitive. I'll definitely be breeding up a competitive for a giraffe. Um, just to kind of see how it goes, but um, your boy Jim signing out. I hope everyone has an awesome day. Make sure to subscribe for more. Check out the playlist in the description. Um, my Discord, my Twitch, um, check out the Scarlet Violet Nose playlist for all the other discussion videos I've done. And um, your boy Jim signing out. I will see you guys in my next video.